The High Court in Johannesburg has, however, interdicted EFF members and protesters from shutting down schools, businesses and public roads. The court has also interdicted protesters from promoting or inciting violence. The Democratic Alliance argues the planned shutdown placed various constitutional rights in jeopardy and that the requisite notice was not given. We can speak now to the leader of the Democratic Alliance, John Stienhazen. He joins us from Durban in KwaZulu-Natal. John, thank you very much for your time this morning. Your reaction? Well, obviously, um, we're delighted with the interdict that's been granted against the uh, EFF in terms of committing violence and disrupting businesses and schools, as well as threatening to damage or close down infrastructure. That was always the main thrust of the case. Um, we've also thanked the court for uh, in instructing the economic freedom fighters to disseminate the court's findings on all of their platforms and to inform all members and businesses um, that they were previously notified to shut down on Monday, uh, to, uh, that this court has now ruled uh, that that was not correct and that uh, I think it's a massive victory for the rule of law and I think it's a massive victory for law and order in the country because the interdict now arms the security services with the power, should the EFF violate that court order, to take action against them. And I think uh, it is a very, very welcome development um, that the protest will go ahead, but it has to be done so lawfully and in the bounds of the law, which is what our point has been all along.